This is the Litter Media Spotlight. I'm your host, Mike Smith, and we're going to be talking with Penny Daner of the Paint Valley Adam H. Board. They have a levy renewal coming up, and we'll talk about that right after this. It's mowing season. Skag, Husqvarna, Snapper, Snapper Pro, Simplicity, and more at Hometown Motors Incorporated, 818 Eastern Avenue, Chillicothe. We're joined by Penny Daner of the Paint Valley Adam H. Board. Penny, first of all, welcome. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me today. Now, you have a levy renewal coming up. Uh, I believe it's scheduled for the fall ballot. Is that correct? That is correct. It is the November 2nd ballot. Um, We will be um, asking the residents of our five counties to um, vote in the affirmative for a renewal of our one mill 10 year levy. And remind us, Penny, of other than Ross County, who those other counties are. Our service district includes Highland, Fayette, Pickaway, Pike, and Ross counties. Now, the renewal, obviously, that means it's currently in place as an existing levy. How are those monies used? Well, first of all, we've been fortunate to have our community support us for the last 50 years with this um, levy. And it's interesting to note that the levy dollars bring in actually more dollars for our board than um, what we receive in federal and state funding. So the levy is extremely important for us that most people don't know we are not, as an Adam board, allowed to provide direct services. So we contract with area agencies to um, cover those that have little or no insurance. We want to make sure that we break down the barriers so that if you're having a mental health issue or a substance abuse issue, that you can reach out for help. And the Adam board's there to help pick up and pay, help pay for some of those costs for you. Um, we do that. We can't do it for every provider in every community. So we have um, specific agencies we contract with in each of our counties. And we are so pleased that um, with our contracts, we're able to provide um, client choice. You can either go to this provider or another provider in each of our five counties. So that I think that is unique in Southern Ohio. Usually an Adam board is able to contract with just one provider and, you know, if you need your services help paid for, you have to go to that provider. So we're very fortunate. While we oftentimes have news stories that talk about grants that you have received for certain programs, we want to make sure our viewers know that that's just something additional to help. That's not the base that you need through these tax dollars. That is absolutely correct. We have been extremely fortunate in these last few years to get a a great deal of um, grant funding. Grant funding is a oftentimes one year and you're done. Um, So one of those things that you are seeing as a result of some grant funding are all the billboards about how's your recovery or over, are you overwhelmed? That's a grant that we receive through FEMA to help direct people um, to one of our providers so that you can get the help that you may be needing during this pandemic. Um, we also have been able to um, secure a great deal of what's called SOAR funding or state opioid response that is actually um, allows us to help with uh, stimulant as well as not just opioids. So that was um, really great for us this year. And we've been able to um, do a lot of work with treatment navigators in our judicial systems in all five counties, peer recovery supporter work. Um, New with this round of SOAR funding, we're able to do some jail in reach um, for both SUD and then side of Paint Valley Mental Health Center got a separate SOAR grant to do some mental health treatment within our county jail. So that's that's new and unique this year. And one of the things that I personally am so very excited about are our wellness coordinators. We reached out to each of the community actions and asked if they would be interested in helping us create a community of recovery. We oftentimes ostracize those that have a substance use disorder and the wellness coordinator is to is in each um, community action along with a peer and they will reach out to all treatment providers, not just the ones we contract with, but all treatment providers 
and ask if they have anybody in recovery that wants to join in activities. Those activities could be a fitness activity. You're going to get a uh, instruction from a fitness instructor. It could be fishing. It could be an outing to go bowling. We're trying to create those natural supports around people so that it reduces the relapses, so that you know, they'll feel like they are part of something bigger than themselves, and they're not the only one in recovery. So we're hopeful to see some great data from that as well. Penny, just two other quick questions uh, about the levy. Again, reminder, this is not the primary. This is the general election in November, but how will that appear on the ballot? It will be appear as a renewal. Um, our board took some time to really consider the needs of our community, and the pandemic has had um, devastating results on our anxiety levels, uh, our depression levels, our isolation. So we know the need for services is much greater. Um, however, we also understand that the pandemic has created um, a financial burden for many. Um, and so we honestly, as being part of a community, we can't turn around and ask the communities for more money. We just have to ask for what we have already had. And we need to continue to do a super job at writing grants and receiving grants. We brought in almost $4 million um, in grant writing. But again, that is just temporary. It is not that long-term funding stream that we can count on and plan around. So we ask for the community support in the renewal on November 2nd. And uh, although our conversation was mostly about the levy renewal, we don't want to miss out on an opportunity for people watching in that may have uh, a need themselves or a family, uh, uh, maybe a loved one, Give us the information on how they can get a hold of you for your services. Well, you can always call the Adam Board at 740-773-2283, and we can absolutely direct you to one of our service providers, or you can always go to our website. Um, that is www.pvadamh.org, and that lists all of our contract providers. And as always, you can call the crisis line. Um, that's part of that FEMA grant that we have a lot of information about um, all the telephone numbers and even the text line that can help you um, get connected to services within your community. As always, Penny, thanks for helping us out to understand what you're all about there. And uh, thanks for what you do for our communities. Appreciate your willingness to always help us get the message out. Thank you so much. Again, this has been the Litter Media Spotlight with Penny Daner of the Paint Valley Adam H. Board.